everyone. You're not going to see my face today. Not the most interactive video, but a very important one today. I hope you can hear me all right. I want you to have a firm understanding of how important it is to have a good palette. A painting palette has to look a certain way in order to have a good painting. Now, I like to have most of my cool colors all along the one edge and I put my warms across the top over there and I put the white in the corner there. So that is a palette with limited colors, generally speaking. I don't want to use too many colors. A lot of painters will not use orange or purple because you can mix that with your primaries. But to save time, I do. I generally use 10 colors plus white. So we have titanium white, cad yellow deep, yellow ochre, a cad orange, a raw umber is down in this bottom corner, a violet purple, bluish, uh, ultramarine blue, and today I have an extra cobalt blue, just for the heck of it. I have a permanent green deep and a chrome oxide. And uh, back to my warms, I have a burnt sienna. And I also have a cad red deep. Okay, so 10 colors plus white. And uh, as a on occasion, I will do a cerulean blue for a sky or some ocean colors. And also on occasion, I will do a uh, alizarin crimson. And I was actually painting outside the other day and my alizarin crimson, I can't probably can't tell on the camera, is filled with um, cotton wood fluffs that were flying around. But the most important thing I want to talk to you today is not about the colors, but more about your mixed puddles. So I'm going to move the camera a little closer, hoping you can see what I have done here. And you do not want a puddle, let's say green, to be all one solid color of green. If you're painting a tree, you need to have a dark bit with some warm rock burnt raw umber in it, permanent green deep, and then I've got some yellow, and I want you to be able to see, uh, let me see if you can, I've got the split color. You, when you add your stroke to your canvas, you do not want a solid mixed puddle. You want to have split colors. And here is another warm puddle right in the foreground. I hope you can see it without the glare. My apologies if my camera worked. There we go. See, that is how your puddles should look. Split colors throughout so that every time your brush goes in, you're picking up more purple, more burnt sienna, a little green in that puddle. This was for a tree I was painting the other day. Now, it's super important that your puddles look a certain way because if I have a solid puddle mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed, then your tree is going to lack charisma. It's going to lack definition. It's going to be dull. So it's very important that every time your brush goes into one of your mixed puddles here that you pick up a different color. And every stroke will be different because it will be split color and it's going to add excitement to your painting. Now, if you are mixing muddy colors on your palette, you're going to have muddy colors on your painting. So I hope that you understand that. You want to have 
pure color. I am not a believer in over mixing in any way, shape or form. And the other thing I want to talk to you briefly about is my glass palette. You will notice that this is a glass palette and many of my students use a uh, paper palette, a disposable paper palette, and I use that as well when I am on location. I do not haul my heavy glass palette around. So I like the glass palette for my studio here and the puddles that have been mixed at the end of the day, I usually scrape them off with a scraper and then I have this large area for mixing fresh colors the next day. And my puddles here can last. I have a wooden cover that I put over top. My oil paints will last several days. Some colors last longer than others. And oftentimes you will just get a scab over the top of the color. You lift it up with a palette knife and all underneath is fresh paint. So you do not have to worry too much about wasting your oil paints because they are expensive. And the reason I like to use a glass palette in my studio is because I can just scrape it off and it's good to go for the next day and there's no waste. Now on location, I use the disposable paper palettes and I have, uh, it's a Masterson box and it's almost like a Tupperware box that can be used um, to keep your paints and it also keeps your paints from getting all over the car and keeps them, you know, from getting messed up. And again, I use the same paint colors for my on location, 10 colors plus one, and it works super well. And I really hope that this little spiel today has helped you a lot. It's, uh, really really important that you mix colors properly and also i want you to keep in mind that you with your puddles this is like a cooler puddle because i'm using chrome oxide mixed with white if you lighten your puddles with white you're going to get a cool puddle if you lighten it for example like this one with um yellow you are going to get a warmer puddle okay so Remember your cools and your warms at all times. You need a good variety of cools and warms and that is why I keep my cools together and my warms together on my palette. It just makes life a little bit easier and makes mixing your colors easier. And uh, yeah, it's super important to have a good palette. If your palette is not working for you, you're gonna have a difficult, difficult time getting a good painting nowadays. Just say a quick hello to everybody. I hope you're all having a great, great day. Um, it's a beautiful sunny, oh, sorry. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Kimberly and all is good. Hope you're painting lots. Please give me a uh, little note and let me know what you're up to. There's my next painting that I'm working on at the moment. That's a better view than looking at my upside down face today. Oh my goodness, this is, uh... anyways, I'm going to say goodbye for now. My tripod is not working so great and it's covered in paint now, but hey, that's how it goes. Have a good week, everyone. Thanks for joining. And if you have any suggestions about your painting palette, any new tips, let me know about it. If you uh, found value in my tips from today, let me know that too. Okay, bye for now, everyone. Have a great week. See you next week.